Yeah, this is my the response to uh Fast Jimmy seventy one. I have two cars in this room that are scratch build, I believe. My eighty seven Chevy fifteen hundred yellow pickup is a scratched it was the motor was falling apart so I did some work to the motor, put some things on it. That's a sketch built and the tire there's no tire suit so the tires are all not original on that car. Um you guys make the decision on this truck. Then I the second one I have is my seventy nine I believe seventy nine Chevy Camaro Z Z seven twenty eight. That one, not really scratch built one. The only different thing I put into it were wheels. Glue the front and rear. My 87 Thunderbird, that I've been working on for the last two weeks, it's semi scratch build because I'm pulling out the motor out of it. And I'm going to put a, probably a 2.2 in there, maybe less than that. Because it's, it's got a funnel it's got right now, but I'll show you the three cars that I have right now. Oh, yeah, Dodge Viper's not, that one ain't, that one ain't, and that one ain't. This is my 87 Thunderbird. I know this was not really a scratch and build. It's been customized, but the motor's right here. That's the motor on top of the car. That's the motor. But this motor, it's not going in there. This is the... Uh, I don't know what your Camaro, but... It's like a wall gas. It's really not a scratch and build. Tires are only thing that are on there. This is a mortar. Now that's the sketch and build truck. Oh yeah. It's customized. It's got the CB ten off. This some kind of ten off like a cell phone radio antenna. It's got the CB ten off. There's inside of the truck. Now the mortar was falling apart. Okay, I got the. Oops. You know, like everybody's got those off sticking out of the truck sometimes. Yeah, that's what this truck's supposed to look like. Oh, wheels are not good. Front coming out a little bit. Yeah. The wheel, it's lower too. If you look at it, it sits about, oh, I don't know, a few inches to the ground. About a few inches. See the wheels? There's inside the front. Back window. Oh, God. Back window. In the windshield. The wheels. But it's, I don't know. If you guys make a decision, let me know. Alright, it's 87 Chevy. I'll show you the box to it. box is right there, that's what it is, right there. 87 Chevy Silverado. The, the Chevy USA 1 truck isn't stock. That's... That bought like that. There's the motor to it. Need a new motor. I think I'm gonna put the Thunderbird motor in that truck. Find a hood. Customize it. Okay, the stock on here the the wheel bear right there. I don't need to put a homemade put. Ah, uh, for anybody wants to this car looks like I'll grab it. Oh God. Wheels. 
Oh my god, this thing's like hard to hold inside to it. Back view. Front. Passenger side. It's missing the I'll paint one of those on. Driver's side. But the bottom of it's kind of scoot bottom of it. I don't know what the hell the tire ain't staying, but whatever. That's kinda cool. There's a bottom to it. It's an awful lot bad. But you guys make your decisions on what you think it's stocked in this the category for me. Let me know. All I have to say. And then and then I got a stock cop car. I'll show everybody before I go what that looks like. It's semi not stock, but it's a painted car. Right there. Got the purple interior. Ooh, it looks nice. Purple seats. They're out of a different vehicle. They're actually not original police car seats. And they're out of a 78 Camaro. It's got the rust spots to make it look like it went muddy. Didn't really stick on there very well. Uh, this ain't painted yet, but this one could be a stock car because it's got custom seats in it. Yeah, I'll show you what the seats look like. Oh, God, I hate taking this car apart. Man, oh. ain't gonna let me see it, but it. Yeah, see? Not original seats. Gotta love your Dunderbird. You gotta love your cop cars. They have a Camaro seat in it. That has a 78 Mark Hall seat in it. So you guys make your de you guys make your oh, you guys make your decision on these cars for me. Okay, thank you.